In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite passing plays in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I just want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my channel before, uh, my channel is basically your one-stop shop for everything Madden 21. Now, while I do recommend watching other players, I just want to let you know that we upload four times a day here on YouTube, different tips, different strategies, different concepts that you can add to your own game. And so if you're looking to get better, I would highly, highly encourage you to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now I'm in the Los Angeles Rams playbook and they have a really interesting uh, gun empty Y off. And I want to go over an oldie, but a goodie, a play that really has been around for years in Madden. And this five wide this year is actually very, uh, very, very uh, usable and runnable in my opinion, but we're going to go over um, and the, the play that we're going to go over is to play deep in flat from the Los Angeles Rams five wide formation. Now, all we're going to do on defense is we're going to sub in some safeties here uh, at the at these positions. Let me see if I can get uh, this set up here. And now we got all of our fast guys on the field, and we are going to basically come out and show you how this little play can really be effective, especially for some of the meta defenses that you're probably facing. Now, the only adjustments that I like to make on this play is I actually like to really, I really like to run mesh. So I like to take both of these two guys here, Jones and Tonyan, and just put them on drag routes. And what you'll see is these underneath crossers do really, really well against man to man. They're unbumpable players. And so that makes it really, really op optimal because what's going to happen is the, the defense can't press these, these players, and that's what makes it so good. As you can see here, the mesh is going to work like flawless, uh, flawlessly against press man. This is press man that I'm running. This is everybody's favorite defense. You know, dollar one, dime 146 dollar uh, defense. They're going to run the man covers. They're going to run the press. And what you're going to see is even though they're safeties, even though they're really, really good uh, speed-wise, they're not going to be able to hang with these routes because, uh, excuse me, because of the fact that they're unbumpable. They're they're not going to be able to get a press. As you see here, this route to uh, Shepard, he is pressable. He is he is a route that can be pressed. Now, what I recommend doing with Shepard is um, I recommend motioning him to the left side, and he's going to basically be on like kind of like a slant out. And what you'll see here is you can actually throw a little back shoulder fade um, against man-to-man -man coverage if you get that animation. The only other thing that I would say what you could do with him is if you wanted to, you could actually take him and just motion him to the right just to give him a little bit more space, give him a little bit more separation. And what you'll see is his crossing route typically will beat man-to-man -man coverage to the inside, even if that corner has a speed advantage. The only way it's not going to work is if that corner has one step ahead. So if they have one step ahead on their slot corner, um, you're going to find that that's not going to be the greatest. But as you can see there, and part of it does have to do with Aaron Rodgers having the gunslinger ability. Sometimes when you have um, a pass lead elite or gunslinger quarterback, they'll throw the ball with a little bit lower of a trajectory. So part of what he needs to do here is I just need to lob this pass. Basically what I'm going to do, if I see man-to-man -man on that side, I'm going to lob and pass lead it up and to the outside. And what that's going to signal my uh, my wide receiver to do is basically turn it upfield. As you're going to see here with this little motion, kind of get him right in here and then just turn it upfield. And as you can see, you're going to get that back shoulder catch as long as you click onto the receiver and swerve catch him inside now. But you don't have to do that. That's just an option for you. Now, if you guys are wondering, you know, maybe you really want to take your game to the next level. Maybe you really want to get serious. I do want to let you know about our text message membership. It's basically 100% free to sign up. There's you know nothing you need to do other than just shoot me a text and let me know you want to receive it. Um, my cell phone number is 812-216-3644. So just shoot me a text message. Let me know you want to receive that. And basically what we do with that is we go a little bit more in depth than we do on our public YouTube videos. They're a little bit longer. Um, we've released, I think, three or four videos so far. One of them has been how to stop the run out of every single uh, formation in Madden 21. The other one has been a gun cluster uh, full scheme, basically like, almost like a mini ebook. And then we did a mini ebook on the Vikings as well. And so we're going to actually be adding this Rams playbook probably to that series. We're going to do a whole scheme on that. So if you enjoy the Rams playbook today, or if you're really, really looking to get really, you know, kind of that next level tip level um, in Madden, I would encourage you to go ahead and join that. And also, if you haven't already, if you have a Madden 
question, you can always text me your questions. And uh, what we're going to be start doing is we're going to start answering those questions on our weekly show. Uh, every single Wednesday night, we're going to do basically a Madden mailbag where you can basically you know mail in your questions essentially, and uh, we'll cover those with our guests on the on the show. And if you would like to be on the show, just shoot me a text as well and let me know. Uh, we have a live show every single Wednesday night. Our first our launch on that show is tonight. Now we do live stream every single night, but this is going to be a little bit more of like a, a, a weekly Madden show that we're going to start doing on Wednesday nights. So if you want more information about that, just shoot me a text. But as you can see, this does a really, really good job. Just these underneath crossers of beating man to man. Now this post right over the middle, as you can see, that's why you want to have your best wide receiver running that you see that he's going to beat man to man. Now, most of the time, um, if they take the safeties away, even if they even if that that corner has like one step ahead or something like that as long as your wide receiver has 90 or higher deep route running he's going to get that separation as you can see right there but what i would encourage you to do is you know if you're facing someone and maybe you're facing like you know Deion sanders and mud or you're facing something like that i would encourage you to really work the underneath crossing routes i think that's going to be a little bit more effective for you um but what you what you can also do is this dig route this deep dig route to marquez valdez scantling you're going to see that this route for the most part will do fairly well the one thing as you can see right there the one thing that you might want to do with it is just motion him in if you motion him in as you can see right here he's going to get a lot more separation as you see right there so the first play you know jair alexander was able to get the pick the second play a much much different story by motioning him in you get that little motion snap that you can get out of the five wide bunches and basically turn this almost into a gun empty bunch type of scenario for you so i would recommend you know just basically motioning him in and if they shade coverage outside and shade coverage over top let me show you what that looks like as far as a man coverage perspective he's still gonna get that separation he's gonna still get underneath that man-to-man -man coverage so you have reads against man um, this play is really designed against man now what about zone coverage well zone coverage the crossers will still work you'll see these crossers are gonna work really well for you especially especially if they are um, especially if they are not playing the under the underneath zones like if they're shading their coverages up or they're trying to stop crossing routes you know, these are going to work really, really well. Now, the one thing I also want to show you is this post route over the middle of the field at different points, depending on the coverage, he is going to also get open. So against cover three, what you're going to see, or I'm sorry, against cover two, what you're going to see is Devontae Adams is going to, for the most part, um, he's going to get open against cover two. The one thing I would suggest on this, um, if, you, if you are facing uh, cover two, uh, you'll see here that we just have to keep that deep safety out of the way. And basically, if you're facing cover two and you know you're facing cover two, um, I would recommend maybe taking, uh, leaving Tanya on a flat route if, if you know it's cover two. If you don't know it's cover two, then don't. But by knowing that, then you can you can throw those rocket catches. You can throw that over the middle of the field. Now you can still throw the you can still throw the route to Devontae Adams. I don't want to discourage you from throwing that. Basically, what's going to happen is once he cuts up field right in that pocket, you see he's going to get open against the cover two defense right there. So this thing does torch cover two. Uh, cover three, it does just fine against cover three. I think it's better against cover three, honestly. Um, pass lead that. Make sure that when you're throwing the post route against cover three. That you, in my opinion, this is what makes Aaron Rodgers so vital and so important. But basically, uh, what you want to make sure when you're throwing this route, if you're throwing this post route against cover three, make sure you're pass leading it down into the inside and you're clicking onto the receiver and taking that so he can come underneath that deep third, um, that deep middle third zone. Now, if let's say, for example, maybe they've, you know, maybe they flipped their cover three and maybe they're going to come right into the play, then what you're going to see here is I can actually hit this, this in route over the top of the yellows as well so i have crossers for the underneath zones if they're not playing underneath zones that's where i'm looking first you know can i hit my crossing routes if i can't hit my crossing routes and see how most of the time you can literally rack catch them and just outrun the guy that's what makes these so effective so you know that's pretty much deep in honestly there's really nothing to it other than that uh there's some motions like i said i wanted to show you some motion snap tricks that you can get so like if you get this guy over here getting right there and then just go upfield you can see you know eight Right there, I think we snapped it a little bit too late, but 
but it will uh, be fairly effective for you. The, the double drags are what I really wanted to highlight from this formation. I don't think enough people are running those. Very you see, there's that back shoulder catch. So uh, CFM Draft is tonight. If you haven't joined the PS4 franchise, text me. I think we've got like two or three spots left. So if you want to join that, we are drafting tonight at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, um, and we will have a full draft coverage, full show for you guys. Really, really excited about that, and I'm really, really excited to see uh, what happens with our Xbox One. We are starting up an Xbox One. If you want more information about the Xbox League, just text me, and uh, we can talk about that. If you haven't joined the Discord yet, you would definitely want to do that. That's a great place to be able to collaborate with people. You can join that by clicking that link in the description of this video. And we've got a couple of more tips coming out for you today, and we will be seeing you tonight on stream at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time for our online franchise draft. See you guys. Have a good day.